Our cities are continuously changing. London's skyline is alive with cranes dismantling and replacing its architecture, both internal and external. Never has the pace been so frenetic. Wholesale change is demanded at all levels, from the corporate demand for a perfect, iconic box to the consumer's need to exist in a space that are as up-to-date as their clothes on their back. Architecture in space is now as throwaway as a cardigan from Zara. Everyone knows that their discarded clothes, gadgets, cars and objects disappear into ecologically disastrous landfills. But only lately, as architecture has entered into the realm of consumption, has architectural waste become a massive contributor to this impending catastrophe. 6.1 million tonnes of waste in London alone each year is now produced by the demolition of perfectly functional, but economically and stylistically defunct buildings and spaces. Europe's landfills cannot cope with the flow of unwanted and used materials. Within five years, London's 18 vast landfills will be full and there will be no room left either in the current landfills nor space for new sites. There will be nowhere for the 17 million tons of annual rubbish to go but the streets of the city itself, just as it's happening right now in the alleys and piazzas of Naples. These are the angry Neapolitans who decided that enough is enough. They met in front of the castle that houses the local council to deliver a straight message. Stop turning our neighborhoods into rubbish landfills. We want a project for this rubbish disposal. A serious project. Someone's got to take responsibility for this. Enough! This rubbish has ruined the most beautiful city in Italy. Enough is enough! Fashion has for some time now responded to the dilemma of the desire for constant change and the need to stop throwing everything away by developing a culture of mix and match, of recycling and recombination, of exciting diversity bred from the cadavers of dead fashions. Places like Camden and Spitterfields Market have evolved into factories for the recycling of all that is passé in clothing. We will face architecture's newly disposable nature and respond to it by proposing a new typology of urban entity, a factory for the recycling of passé architecture. No longer will the only destination for unwanted architectures and spaces be the unsustainable and burgeoning landfills threatening our city. Just like in the city's second-hand clothing markets, what is unwanted elsewhere will be recombined and new fashions and architectures will be forged out of London's stylistic garbage. No longer POMO, then neo-modern, then deconstructivist, but rather retro-constructivist post-neo-modern. The unit will commence with students individually collecting material on the architecturally stylized spaces they have occupied and or aspired to in their lives. Groups will then be formed and students will pool their collected material to begin constructing the first experimental spaces within the envelope of the factory. The entire output of the unit will be in the model form of 1 to 50, the scale of a typical doll's house or diorama, so that we will be producing and recombining whole miniaturized environments. We will not be going out and collecting found material or recycling any kind of real rubbish, but will rather be using the representational rather than actual nature of working at such a scale to create representations or three-dimensional images of what the recycling of whole architectural spaces would entail.